that? <laughs> Hell yeah! Woo! Good God Almighty! Yeah, I got one, dude. Huh. Is he crawling back here? Or I'm just letting line out. On the fly. Well, guys, uh, Shinbone forgot his cigarettes, and uh, I just threw some line out to uh, get my uh, my line like undone, so I could you know cast it good. And this little booger hit it, so um, he definitely uh, venom lures definitely uh, the venom gets bit. Yeah, he definitely, uh, he definitely got bit. <laughs> Look, guys, he definitely won it. It's got blood all over it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> He's right out in the middle, dude. I just casted it out. Look, I let it drop. No, Look, I let it drop. Mm -hmm. I, I was just like this. It's letting my line spool. I just started reeling out my photo. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubble Foot Bassin. And uh, if y'all are wondering, this is the Venom Baits Takeover video. Uh, this video is sponsored by Venom Baits. And uh, I'm going to show you all the baits I got in the mail. And why I have this color of the bait. And why I have this style of bait. Uh, Venom Baits is a company out of Ohio. Uh, they have a YouTube channel, so go subscribe to them. They're going to be in the link below. And uh, also subscribe to my channel. I just recently hit 500 subscribers. I'm really stoked about that. I'm really happy, and I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway video here in the future. I just got to figure out exactly the little details and little wrinkles I want to do with that. But uh, once again, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel, checking out my stuff, liking, sharing, and commenting. Uh, if y'all could, if you're new here to Venom Baits or my channel, uh, I'd like to, like to see y'all hit that subscribe button, and uh, hopefully y'all enjoy the video. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into these baits, and uh, like I said, why I have them and why I chose the colors and why I have this style of bait that I've you know want to show here on camera. So stay tuned. Right, guys so what i'm gonna get into first is uh the ringworms this is a june bug four inch ringworm with a chartreuse curl tail in the back uh the reason i like the ringworm is it's got all these rings around it that displaces water and this thing works good on a uh, ned rig or on a texas rig or a football head now the reason june bug works so well in virginia is that it's a dark bait for one because we got a lot of tannic water in our rivers and a lot of muddy water in our lakes. There's a couple clear lakes up here, but the reason this works is in some of the rivers, there's dark colored bluegill and bait fish that have green splotches on them. So that's the reason that works. And then the reason uh, I like this red shad is because red shad works really well in the summertime. It's a black top with a red bottom and it's also got a curl tail at the end. This is a four inch ribbon tail from Venom Baits. And then we're gonna get into the Dream Craws. This is a 4.25, uh, it's four inches and a quarter. And it's green pumpkin, the reason what makes this mold uh, and this bait so beneficial to fishing is when the water goes through these little ribs right here, it makes bubbles and it just makes the bass go crazy because the lateral line picks up the vibration. So when this thing's falling, it's got little ridges 
on these appendages. So when they're falling, it goes like this. So that's the green pumpkin one. We have a red bug, dream crawl, same exact size and everything. We have a black and blue dream crawl, same exact setup as the other ones. We have a June bug dream crawl. Can't go wrong with that. And then we have a blue shad. Now what makes this different between the black and blue is that it's got a lavender blue on top with a little bit of black swirl with blue flake in it. And it's the same exact dream crawl as the other ones. Now we're gonna get into the 10 inch ribbon tails. Uh, these things are called a king snake. Uh, this is also red shad, red on the bottom, black on top. Um, this isn't a traditional ribbon tail. It kind of folds up faster than a normal ribbon tail. So it gives you more of like a, a curly cue when it's falling down instead of that traditional like, you know, just like that. It kind of wobbles down when it's going down like that. And then we also have the June bug king snake ribbon tail. This is also a 10 inch. Now these are all infused with salt. They're all infused with garlic. Bass and all kinds of other fish love garlic. So we're going to show you the better beaver now. This is in the red bug color. They got two little antenna flappers right here. Then they also have the side flappers. These flappers have grooves. It's like the same thing with these. All this right here displaces water and makes the bass go crazy. Now that was the red bug color. We're going to jump to the June bug color of the better beaver. This is also a 4.25. Here's the better beaver. Uh, this is a green pumpkin gold mist color. Green pumpkin with like a gold flake in it. Same exact setup as the other better beavers. And then we're going to jump to the donkey snatcher. Now I know this is fishing with Fitz's favorite lure so far. Uh, he just likes the word donkey snatcher because it just makes him laugh. So uh, what makes this bait different than most swim baits is one, it's really, really hard plastic. Uh, the bottom, I mean the top of the bait right here is kind of grooved and cupped. So that way when you're when your hook comes through here, like so, when it comes through, it kind of gets hidden. So that way you can actually get a better hook set ratio when your, your bait is gliding through the water with this paddle tail. This also has ribs on it. And this is a blue shad color. It's a gray top with like a bluish uh, clear at the bottom. And then this one is the bluegill color. Now the tail has got blue flake in it, green pumpkin top, and a Perch belly yellow on the bottom. Same exact setup as that other one. So uh, I believe this is an open pour because the top of it and the bottom of it. These guys work really hard on these baits. They're all handmade, man. And then we have a salty sling, which is a traditional Cinco. This is a five inch. Also has garlic in it. And it's a green pumpkin. One of the best Cinco colors to use is green pumpkin, especially in like a clear or a stained water. The other Cinco we have is a June bug Cinco. It's also a five inch. And then we have the 10 inch. This is a uh, pepper grass worm. This is a hand pour. It's kind of like a bull worm or a trick worm. This is green pumpkin and it's got a fatter end on one side and then a very, very fatter end on the other side and it's flat on the bottom, and it's got a lot of tail action, just like a trick worm would. And then we have uh, this red bug. It's just like a zoom trick worm, basically. So the other thing we're gonna get into is the Venom Lures Glimmer Series Spinnerbait. This is a 3 8 ounce spinnerbait. Uh, it's all hand tied with the skirt, and the blades are chartreuse. They're double willow blades. Um, and then we're gonna get into uh, the DK rig. Now this DK rig is basically a Ned rig, right? It's a Ned rig, mushroom head, but with a wide gap EWG worm hook. Now you Texas rig your worm and then you got a weedless Ned rig instead of the weed guard where it just catches all the grass and debris or any stumps or sticks. And then this bad boy right here, this Glimmer Series Blue Shad Spinnerbait, 
I caught a pickerel with it uh, earlier this morning. I'm gonna show you all the footage of that. So stay tuned for that. So that's the um, Venom Baits takeover. Uh, we have more Venom Baits coming in the mail today. Or, well, not today, but uh, today's Sunday. So uh, we got more Venom Baits coming in the mail uh, for Monday. We also have a Fitzgerald uh, Tournament Series weigh-in bag coming in the mail. Uh, we got a tournament this Saturday coming up, uh, the 27th, I believe. Uh, and also we hit 500 subscribers if you're still watching the video. I really appreciate uh, everybody tuning in and watching. Uh, it, it's fun to see this thing grow and what we can accomplish on this channel. Uh, like I said, you know, it's just awesome. I'd like to give a shout out to Fishing With Fitz. Uh, he's there answering phone calls and, you know, text messages when I got, you know, questions to ask him or, you know, vice versa. If he's got questions, he asks me and I fill him in on stuff. But uh, if you can, go down in the description below, give him a like and a subscribe. And also check out Venom Baits. Uh, it's VenomBaits.com on, uh, like, if you go to, you know, type in and search it. And then also... Uh, the web page and their YouTube I can link down below as well. So uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed all the Venom baits. Uh, they're all made in the USA and not China. Uh, they're all basically handmade. Um, guys on the YouTube channel, uh, uh, I believe uh, Dustin is his name. Uh, he fishes a bunch of tournaments and stuff like that. I think they're the ones that came up with the DK rig. But uh, just stay tuned for the next video. I hope you like this one, and uh, I'm going to go edit this thing, so stay tuned.